us hold up inside of us there ought to be the tendency and the desire to live but whenever staleness y'all don't hear me when I say and one slice of stale bread in the packet can do harm to the whole when staleness becomes a part of your plight it causes you to feel a trap on the inside where you see no hope, you see no help and ultimately you find yourself just waiting powerlessly for that elusive thing called fate to just come along and somehow change things but now what you have to understand is that the longer you wait in your embracing your problem the deeper the cynicism becomes entrenched as a part of your life so I come to tell somebody this morning oh I'm getting ahead of myself but I come to tell somebody this morning that today is the day you address the problem did you hear me when I said I said today is the day that you deal with the problem Today is the day you decide within yourself I'm not going back home the way I was when I came. Is anybody hearing me when I say I need you to put your mind on your own experience and tell your neighbor I won't go home the way I was when I came. I think I see an exit. That I heard at the park some time ago uh, about the young man who had all his dreams ahead of him. Uh, the story goes uh, that he made big plans for his life, uh, had a plan to achieve greatness in his end. Uh, but every time he pressed on the accelerator of progression, uh, there just seemingly wasn't enough power in the engine uh, to fuel him where he was trying to. He never quite made it. And one day while basking somewhere in his mid-40s, he came face to face with what he considered to be his reality. And the reality was that he would never do what he wanted to do or even what he was called to do in life. He would never compose a sweet lyrics. He would never paint a beautiful picture. He would never build a skyscraper. Not own his own business. He would never be the president of a major corporation. So he felt disappointed within himself as life for him simply was lost without vitality and drive. Life became dull. Life became pale. And in fact, the life he knew became a drudgery. A duty instead of a privilege. Did you hear what I said? And I just wonder, is there anybody in here whose life has become a duty instead of a privilege? His body became saturated with tension. His soul eventually dried up with the neglect. Deep inside, he felt the dull ache of mediocrity. And for one so young, his legacy read, his life has grown stale. Hold on, because he viewed his situation to be the shadows of death. But what you cannot. Allow, my friends, it's the revelation of the shadows of death to be a place of discouragement. And what's what you need to understand that whenever you are consumed by the shadows of death, it's your own sunshine that's reflecting the shadow. Did you hear what I said? Because your shadow is yours And your shadow will never beat you At anything at all But will follow you to the place 
is now at a place uh, of marking time. Uh, I can know y'all. Uh, Is there anybody here that can see? 